Hey guys, what's up? Um, Nyx here, and back with more Zelda! Safely. Fantastic! We're all starting to get worried. I think your sword might be ready. The boss was just putting the finishing touches on it a second ago. Awesome! Hey, what's up? What's up? Wow, that was fast work. Wait! The other guy said that I took a long time, and he said I was, I was quick? Okay. But not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. Why do you call it the white sword? You got the white sword. Its beautiful white blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you this part, but... If you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the elemental sanctuary. The sanctuary is a strange realm, trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the minish world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that, and you'll be down in no time. Good luck! Oh. Watch out! Awesome! Truck at the bottom. Fuck everything else. Woo! Oh, I got hit. Oh, I got hit again. What's in here? Hello. Hello. Try. Hey. Uh, there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. Shanks, bro. Another puppy still there. To Hyrule Castle. Ignoring all the mobs. Sure, I look all right. I never know what to wear to formal occasions. You're a hat. I like how this is like 
complicated for no reason. Is he sleeping? Oh, I not. Even turned to stone by Vati's curse, her eyes are filled with life. Hurry, save her. Hmm, a sanctuary. You know, I do recall a story my grandmother once told me long ago. She said she saw a doorway appear in the palace courtyard as a child. If this door does indeed open only once a century, it may be open even now. As with the Pecori themselves, the door is visible only to the eyes of a child. He might have walked past it recently and never known it. it oh. oh, excuse me. And never known it was there. Oh, Link, you've returned. Welcome. Did you gather the elements? What? A sanctuary, you say? Why, I've heard of no such thing in my castle. Okay. Let's go down the stairs. For no reason. Exploring. Hey, Link, look! See how that doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems able to see it but you and me. Let's go, quickly! Wait, how do you know nobody can see it? Oh my. So this is the elemental sanctuary then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle of the middle of there. Oh, Fine, to go this way. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh. So shiny. The powers of the earth and fire elements have infused your blade. What that? <laughs> Let's see if I can't read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Link. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, you just split in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. Can I like quadruple myself? Like if I were to walk over this all of these? Oh, I see. That's so cool though. Myself. I walked him into a wall and he died. Make me feel bad. That's so cool. It's over here. Oh, hey, there's a door. Can I go in this door? Denied access of door. <sighs> Interesting. The last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Vati! 
And as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectac spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I've gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Accept this small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait! Bati, wait! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Falvati, what can you be scheming now? Link, I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vati took a hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wearer. He put it on without permission. Flashback. Oh, he looks so cute like that. Vati, what are you doing here? Oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile? I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. None can stop me. Why, Vati? What are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Ah! Oh, God. And so you turned him into a hat? <laughs> Tell me. How does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? There's nothing you can do to break it, Ezlo, or to stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. You know the legends, of course. The gifts the Pecori gave the humans. What you call the Pecori Blade was the first of those gifts. The second? Well, you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Vati were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vati, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me any time soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my own pride. My folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we put an end to Vati. Like, attacks my face. Well, Link, enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. Like how I almost killed myself. Killing this. I should go to town. Check if anybody wants to get some trade kingstone pieces. There's an old legend that something big will happen when Hyrule's bell rings. Oh, right. Talk to you. Um. Well, if it isn't Link, it is good to see you again. School is in session right now, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. What are you doing outside, then? The mayor. Gonna jump in your pot! Oh, 
Oh, snap! I made it into a portal. That's awesome! Oh, I was like, you can't get out now. <laughs> Wait. What? Well, that was anticlimactic. Any other pots around here? to the one and only bakery of Wheaton and Pita. A slice of our fantastic fruit pie, which may or may not have something inside, is a snacktacular bargain at only 40 rupees. Uh, let's buy it. You bought a slice of pie. One bite and you're in heaven. There was a kinstone piece of- oh, wait, what the? What an incredible- what an incredible look. Give me cake. Welcome. You've come to the one and only bakery of Wheaton and Pita. This tasty slice of cake, which may or may not have something in special inside, is a moist and cream-filled bargain at only 60 rupees. Sure. Buy a slice of cake. Time to get your snack on. Nothing this time. Too bad. The postman. They're not open yet. Oh well, we'll just have to come back later, won't we? Is there another pot somewhere that I can use as a portal? Boo! Buggity buggity boo! Did I scare ya? Is this place not open either? They're not open yet. Oh well. <laughs> There's treasure. The town is quiet enough, but past the gates there are monsters everywhere. You should stop the shop and get outfitted before you go out there. Are you like a walking advertisement? <gasps> the boomerang! That boomerang is a real bargain at 300 rupees. Oh, well then. Ah, uh, my friend, you're far too clever by half, but you won't be haggling with me. But I teleported. Sword, fantastic! You seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, will you accept this new training? Yes. I will now teach you a technique called the rock breaker. So pay attention. First, swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes, 
Haha, <laughs> good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have serious doubts about you. Yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as to demonstrate the technique. That is the secret of the swift blade switcheroo technique of training. Watch this! Ah! Switch! Aroo! Wow. Whew. Now you must try it yourself. Break the pots with your sword. That's all. Definitely not what I meant to do. Yes! Fine work! Fantastic, even! I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you forget the technique, you can review it with this scroll. You learn the secret rock breaker trading technique. Shatter pots and pulverize boulders with a single blow. Awesome. Can I break these pots? Awesome. They had nothing in them, but awesome. Nah, I won't play with cuckoos today. Map. <sighs> That's not the map. Um, let's go to Minish Woods and visit the Elder. But first, I'm gonna stop in here real quick. Okay. Would you surprised? Oh. Kinstone pieces I can use. Bombs I don't need, right? I wonder if that mark thing has anything to do with uh, one of the elements. Yes, I know I'm going the opposite direction of visiting. What's going on here? It's all shiny. I'm suspicious. That was exciting. I roll everywhere. 
here to visit you. After all this time. I wonder if the star will say anything. So you're on a quest to restore the sacred place you can save the princess. Yeah, I'm sure you'll manage. But oh, fine, all you people. I want to come and say hi. She's so pretty! Welcome to the Adventurer Spring. I need many rupees right now. Please throw all of yours into the spring. All my rupees? Okay. Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left, right? Will you really throw them all in? As long as you give me something worth it! Uh... Let's be a cheater. You are most kind. I do not really need your rubies, but I must reward such a kind adventurer with some of my power. Yeah! Now you can carry more rubies. May you fare well in your quest. Oh, she left me. I'm such a good person, you guys. Tear. I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I am. I try to be a good person, but you know. I was joking about the tear part. <laughs> knock, knock. Anybody home? Nope. But I can break your pots. Oh, yeah. Oh wait, are we gonna go to Lake Hylia? Hey! Melon Ranch! Or Lon Lon Ranch. Melon is at Lon Lon Ranch. Um, I think I'm gonna end it here for today. Everybody, um... I've been recording for a while. So... Anyways, thanks as always. Um, tomorrow... Hopefully, we'll go to the next uh, dungeon, whatever. Make some progress instead of just walking around like I do between dungeons. But, as always, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow! <laughs>